A very fine playwright, Thornton Wilder, wrote a play about a small town of the early 1900s, Our Town. It's a rather unusual play, no scenery. Starts with a stage manager who kind of explains things to the audience. That'll be me. The scene we're going to show you starts on top of a hill in a cemetery. Some folks who've been up there for several years are thinking about a girl named Emily who's about to join them. Some of them remember Emily's wedding. A lovely wedding, they say it was. Then suddenly she appears among them. She comes slowly, gazing wonderingly at the dead, a little dazed. I want to go back. Yes? Can I go back there and live again? Some have tried, but they soon come back here. It won't be what you think it'll be. You not only live it, but you watch yourself living it. You know what's going to happen afterward. Please. Can I? Choose the least important day of your life. It'll still be important enough. Then I choose my 12th birthday. You want the special time of day? Oh, I want the whole day. We'll begin at dawn. The sun's coming up. There's Main Street. And there's Mr. Morgan's drugstore before he changed it. And there's a livery stable. Oh, look. There's the old white fence that used to be around our house. Oh, I'd forgotten that. I love it so. Are they inside? Yes, your mother will be coming downstairs in a minute to make breakfast. Well, she? And you remember your father had been away for several days. He came back on the early morning train. Emily, time to get up. Mama, here I am. Oh, how young Mama looked. I didn't know Mama was ever that young. Good morning, Mama. Mama, I'm here. I can't find my blue hair ribbon anywhere. Just open your eyes, dear, that's all. Left it out special for you on the dresser there. Good morning, Mother. Well, Charles, how did it go? Oh, fine, I guess. I told him a few things. Everything all right here? You just can't think of anything that's happened special. Oh, Charles, don't forget. It's Emily's birthday. Did you remember to get her something? Yes, I have something here. Goodness sakes, I hope she likes what I got for her. I hunted hard enough for it. Emily, hurry up. Your father's home. Where's my girl? Where's my birthday girl? They're so young and beautiful. Why did they ever have to grow old? I love them all. Everything. I can't look at everything hard enough. Good morning, Mama. Well, now, dear, a very happy birthday to my girl and many happy returns. There's some surprises waiting for you on the kitchen table. Mama, you shouldn't. But birthday or no birthday, I want you to eat your breakfast good and slow. I want you to grow up to be a good, strong girl. Mama, just look at me one minute as though you really saw me. Mama, 14 years have gone by. I'm dead. But just for a moment now, we're together. Mama, just for the moment, we're happy. Look at one another. That's the yellow paper, something I found in the attic among your grandmother's things. Your father has a surprise for you, too. Don't know what it is myself. Shh. Here he comes. Where's my girl? Where's my birthday girl? I can't. I can't. It all goes so fast. We don't have time to look at one another. I didn't realize. So all that was going on and we never noticed. Take me back up the hill to my grave. But first, 
one more look. Goodbye. Goodbye, world. Goodbye, Grove, Miss Corners, Mama and Papa. Goodbye to clocks ticking and my butternut tree and a food and coffee and a new iron dresses and hot baths and sleeping and waking up. Oh, Earth, you're too wonderful for anybody to realize you. Do any human beings ever realize life while they live it? Every, every minute. No. The saints and poets, maybe, they do some. I'm ready to go back. Now she knows. Now she knows what it is to be alive.